Hello, the purpose of this short demonstration is to show how you use a digital voice recorder. We are going to look at the voice recorder itself and then how to transfer recordings onto a laptop and then finally onto a memory stick. If you will be using WJEC equipment, you should have a digital voice recorder, a USB connecting cable, memory sticks and spare batteries. These recorders have been preset by the WJEC for your use with 40 folders and set to SP mode, which is approximately 89 hours. Please don't alter these settings. Turning the recorder on. Two batteries will be pre-fitted and you will have two spare. To turn the unit on or off, slide the hold power on off button for more than two seconds. A similar screen to this should then be displayed once the device is switched on. This shows the device is set to folder 01 with zero files out of zero files being recorded. The HMS show the time of the displayed recording, i.e. initially blank. You should ensure that it does look like this and is displaying SP in the bottom right hand corner which gives you about 89 hours of recording. The battery indicator in the bottom right hand corner should be full. Selecting folders. You can select a folder numbered 1 to 40 in which you are going to record a file. Each folder can hold up to 99 files and we suggest you use one folder per examination centre to assist you when later renaming the files on your PC. You can select a folder by pressing the folder selection window. Then press the relevant back or forward button to select the next or previous folder. Press the enter button to confirm your selection. How to make a recording. To make a recording, press the record pause button when in stop mode to start recording. The operation indicator lights in red. You do not need to press the button again when recording. Upon the start of your recording, please introduce each candidate. It is good practice for the candidate to be present when this is done, to confirm that this is the correct candidate. Press the square button to stop the recording. Connecting the recorder to your computer. You can transfer the recordings to your computer using the USB lead. The thin end of the USB cable plugs into the recorder and the other end to the USB port on your PC. The digital recorder is now immediately recognised by your computer. Copying files from the recorder to your computer. On your computer screen, you must go to your desktop and create a new folder giving it a suitable name, e.g. MFL Orals 2014. To do this, when you are on your desktop, right click your mouse and go to New and hover over it until you see the name Folder and then click. This will appear on your desktop awaiting you to type the folder name as suggested previously. Now go to your computer shortcut and in this window you will see an icon with the words IC Recorder and within it the folder named Voice. Right click the first folder with your mouse and copy to the folder you have already created on your desktop entitled MFL Orals 2014 and right click your mouse and click paste. You may substitute the copy and paste instructions referred to with drag and drop if that is your preferred method. You can now disconnect the digital recorder. Relabeling audio files. It is important that you now rename each individual MP3 voice file contained in the voice folder so that they can be identified by center and candidate details.
If you right click the first folder, you will see an option to rename. Click on rename and change the name from folder one to the first center you visited, e.g. center 68101. Click away from here and then return to folder entitled 68101. Double click this folder to reveal the individual candidate MP3 voice files for the number of candidates you recorded at this centre. To rename individual MP3 files, please right click and then select Rename. You would then need to use the following naming convention. Centre number space candidate number space subject unit title dot MP3. Optionally, you can include the candidate name before .mp3. Copying files from the computer to memory stick. Insert the memory stick provided into a USB socket located on your PC. Go to the My Computer icon on your computer. If you do not have this showing on your desktop, click your Windows Start symbol and you will see Computer. If you double click Computer, it will reveal your disk drives and other hardware connected to your computer. Because you have inserted a memory stick into your computer, you will now see a symbol entitled Removable Disk. The next step is to copy the folder containing all labelled candidate recordings entitled MFL Orals 2014 situated on your desktop to the memory stick, identified as removable disk. Right click your mouse on the folder and you will be presented with a selection of options, e.g. open, share with, send to. Select send to with a right click of your mouse to reveal various disk drives. Among those listed you will see the icon removable disk. Click this option with the left side of your mouse. The folders containing all your MP3 file recordings have now been uploaded to the memory stick. To confirm you have successfully copied the recordings to the memory stick, click Computer, then Removable Disk to ensure the files have all been copied. After copying the files to a memory stick, please ensure that you keep the originals on your PC as a backup.